Never let it be said that I don't do requests. Somebody on hash emacs asked uh, to, for somebody to do a screencast on lexical scope and dynamic scope. So here we are. This is a scratch buffer, an Emacs scratch buffer. It's in dynamic scope. You can see that down here. We'll also prove it by using lexical binding. Um, lexical binding evaluates to nil, which means this is dynamic scope. So let's do some function definition. Okay, this is a function that's going to return a function with no args that just returns the value of x. Um, that's a closure, right? We all know how that works. So we're going to grab this function by calling it 1 with 10. And now we should be able to func call Nick special func and we'll get 10, right? No. Oh, hang on. That's actually because I spelled it wrong. Still fails though. Void variable x. Why is x void variable? Because this is dynamic scope. That value is not captured by the by the surrounding lambda by the anonymous function. Um, the value of x only exists while nick1 is executing. Nick1 stops executing as soon as it returns the lambda. So when we call the lambda, there's no value of x. We could make a value of x. Let's change that to 11. And now it'll be 11. Why is it 11? Because the shadowed value of x that we passed in disappeared, and now we're talking about this value of x. We're talking about a global variable. Hmm. Okay. Let's go and look at um, lexical scope. This buffer is a lexical scratch buffer. You can tell that lexical binding evaluates to T. So now let's make more functions. This one is going to return X. Okay, so set Q Nick special to Nick to Twenty-one. Okay, and now let's fun call Nick special two, and it comes back with twenty-one. So this one's working how we originally expected. This value, the value of x, is captured. Okay. So that's exactly how you'd expect it to work. So there you go. That's oh, there's one more thing. That when we look at when we look at the value of what a fun uh, an anonymous function is, uh, um, a lexically captured closure, we can see Emacs actually implements them as a list, beginning with closure, and you can see what the values that it captured were. So that's the difference. Hopefully that explains it. Thanks very much.